Hi. In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create reusable modules so that you can code once and continue to use it in new forms as you build them. So in this particular example, I created a layout grid that allows you to create a build to and a ship to, and I'm using the gray caption text option to keep it very tight. So in other words, instead of having headings, if I start typing in You'll notice it replaces the label that's in there. Now, <clears throat> once you build this, it's easy to save it and reuse it in other forms. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing is you've built your code and it's the code that you want to save. So what I like to do is publish my form and I publish it into a project that I like to call modules. This way you can put all your code modules there. And I happen to call this my build to module. So I'll go ahead and save that. And once it's saved, it's available. And it's just basically any form. You can take any segment of any form that you build can be saved as a module. And you don't need to have it in the project modules. I just like to do that. OK, so we have it now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit new. And I'll put, let's say, a label up. And I'll call it invoice. And now I want to insert that module that I just built into my form. So I can go up to File, and I can go Insert Form. And it's going to give me a list of all of my forms. Now, in my particular case, it takes a long time because I have a lot of forms. So I'm going to hit Last Modified. And Here's my bill to module. So I'm going to pick that form and I'm going to say to insert it. And now it just inserted that piece of form into my new form. So now if I preview it, you'll see that I've got my invoice and my bill to and my ship to. Now, one of the most important things to understand here is that this is not something that you can do after the fact. It has to be put in, it'll automatically be put in after the last thing in your form. So you need to know when you're going to use this module. So if I want this to appear right after invoice, then I have to insert it right after I put this invoice in. I can't put invoice in six or seven fields and then insert it between invoice and those six or seven fields. The insert always inserts right you know, at the end of your form. So you kind of have to insert them as you're going. But with that said, you now have the ability to create these reusable modules and easily insert them into any form you build, saving you a lot of retyping. Thank you.